Star Citizen, a highly ambitious space simulation game developed by Cloud Imperium Games, aims to offer an unparalleled experience in space exploration, combat, and trading. Central to this experience is the concept of Degrees of Freedom DOF, which refers to the number of independent movements a spacecraft can perform. True Six Degrees of Freedom six DOF, gameplay allows for movement along three axes X, Y, Z, and rotation about those same three axes Roll, Pitch, Yaw. However, Achieving a true 6DOF model presents significant challenges, both in terms of gameplay balance and technical implementation. This video explores the discrepancy between Star Citizen's current combat model and the desired 6DOF gameplay, arguing that a focus on 3 degrees of freedom might enhance the overall gaming experience. Understanding Degrees of Freedom Six Degrees of Freedom In a 6DOF model, a spacecraft can move forward, backward, up or down, and left right while simultaneously rotating about its longitudinal, lateral, and vertical axes. This model provides an immersive and realistic simulation of spaceflight, capturing the essence of zero-gravity environments. However, it introduces complexity in control schemes, user interfaces, and gameplay mechanics, which can be overwhelming for players. 3 Degrees of Freedom In contrast, a 3DOF model simplifies movement by limiting it to forward, backward, left, right, and up or down, without incorporating rotational axes. This restriction can lead to more straightforward and accessible gameplay, reducing the learning curve for players and allowing for a more focused development of game mechanics. Discrepancy in Star Citizen's Combat Model Star Citizen's current combat model attempts to incorporate elements of 6DOF, offering players a high degree of freedom in maneuvering their spacecraft. However, this approach has led to several issues. Complex controls Managing six degrees of freedom requires a complex control scheme that can be daunting for new players and challenging to master even for experienced ones. Balance issues The freedom to move and rotate in any direction can lead to unpredictable and unbalanced combat scenarios. Players often find it difficult to track and engage targets, resulting in a less satisfying combat experience. Technical limitations Implementing true 6DOF physics and controls demand significant computational resources and sophisticated algorithms, which constrain the game's performance and lead to bugs or inconsistencies. The case for 3 degrees of freedom. Simplified controls. Adopting a 3DOF model would streamline the control scheme, making it more intuitive and accessible. Players could focus on mastering fewer movement options, leading to a more enjoyable and less frustrating experience. This approach would lower the barrier to entry, attracting a broader audience and enhancing player retention. Improved Combat Balance with a 3DOF model, combat scenarios would become more predictable and manageable. Pilots could better anticipate enemy movements and engage in dogfights that are easier to follow and more strategic. This balance would lead to a more engaging and satisfying combat experience, fostering competitive play and cooperation among players. Enhanced Performance Reducing the degrees of freedom would alleviate some of the computational burdens associated with simulating 6DOF physics. This improvement could lead to more stable and consistent performance, fewer bugs, 
and a smoother gameplay experience overall. Developers could then focus resources on other critical areas, such as content creation, world building, and narrative development. Potential drawbacks and mitigations. While a shift to 3DOF could offer numerous benefits, it is essential to consider potential drawbacks and ways to mitigate them. Loss of realism. Reducing degrees of freedom might detract from the game's realism. However, careful design and immersive storytelling can compensate for this, ensuring that players remain engaged with the game world. Player expectations. Longtime supporters of Star Citizen might expect a true 6DOF experience. Transparent communication from the developers about the benefits of 3DOF and how it enhances gameplay could help manage these expectations. Adaptation period. Players accustomed to 6DOF might need time to adjust to a 3DOF model. Offering tutorials and gradual transitions could ease this adaptation process. Star Citizen's ambition to provide a true six degrees of freedom gameplay experience is commendable, reflecting its commitment to realism and immersion. However, the complexities and challenges associated with 6DOF have highlighted significant discrepancies in the current combat model. By focusing on a three degrees of freedom approach, Star Citizen could simplify controls, improve combat balance, and enhance overall performance. This shift would not only make the game more accessible and enjoyable for a wider audience, but also allow developers to allocate resources more effectively, ultimately creating a richer and more engaging universe for players to explore. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more deep dives into game design. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Do you prefer 6DOF or 3DOF in your space games? Until next time, fly safe!